Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 6th and 7th, Wednesday, Thursday, for Aries. Hello, Aries. How are you? You're getting through this time. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the longer reading, the 1st through the 14th. Um, okay, as always, I'm using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. But also, too, this is a general reading. It may or may not um, resonate with you. Take what you like. Leave the rest. So let's see what we have for Aries popping up for these two days. What is the general energy? Oh, if you have not subscribed, please go below, subscribe, and then you can comment. I do love listening to your comments or reading your comments. Um, also, too, um, like, share, do all the things that, you know, get, get this out. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, let's cut, and we will cut, We will take our first three cards. First card is reversed, so let's see what that one actually says. This is the king of air, and air is our Gemini, our um, Libra, and our Aquarius energy, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. And this is speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. I'm kind of feeling that, you know, when, when you're, yeah, you, you, I'm feeling that there's going to be, okay, now this does not mean that you're going to do this, but I'm feeling that on Wednesday and Thursday, there's going to be a little bit of a confront, confrontational energy going on. So it may be that people are confronting you. It may be that you are watching people confront each other. It may be that you need to just keep quiet, but it may need that you may mean that you need to speak, Okay. I'm feeling it more that you're going to speak, whether you need to or not. So when you do enter this fray, I'm hearing fray, when you enter this fray, whether that be with you in the middle or, you know, as a, as in the peripheral, and these words are just coming, you need to be very careful with what you say. So it does not get you, it does not backlash at you, okay? Because there's many times over that I've gotten into something to try to mediate and separate, and then it's like the two are, you know, like looking daggers at me. So please don't do that. Okay, let's see what this next card is. Release, Archangel Ezreal. And this is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card. This is Archangel Ener um, Energy, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So I just don't want it to be that you put your foot in your mouth and you say, well, that's well, heck with it all. I'm leaving my job. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's always easier to get a job when you have a job, okay? Because I've been that person and had that foot in my mouth. So. <laughs> but the thing is, though, it could be that what you say actually brings this release about. Um, but it does, you know, something is actually going to happen where or the energy is right for or ripe for something you know to end and something to begin. Okay, now right now it's saying that this is a good beginning, but let, let's see what this last card says. Okay, this one is four of air, and again we have our air energy, and this one is saying time to rest or take a vacation, allow more time after, before making a decision. Um, meditation may provide answers. Okay, Aries, I'm feeling like this could be this could be something that you get in to and you may if it be, you know, so please watch this energy and watch your mouth because I could see you going into something and saying that's fine, I'm leaving. I'm done. Take my 2 weeks notice in fact, no, I'm going today, okay? And really it's saying before you quite do all of that, really think about it before you speak. I could also, I'm also hearing arguments on a personal relationship and saying, you know what, fine, I'm breaking up. You know, that's it, fine. You don't like me anymore, fine. Get out of my life, move out of the house. I'm moving out of the house. I'm feeling just kind of this is what the energy is. It doesn't mean that you are going to do this, but that's what the energy is. So you need to use this, you know, you need to use this, um, you need to be aware of this energy, okay? And you need to then, you know, just kind of work through this. Like I said, you know, the longer reading that I had, the first through the 14th was that this is not a, you know, this is not a good time necessarily for you. Um, you know, you, 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 I felt that you were a little bit more emotional during this time. So whatever you can do, if you can keep this from 
spearheading, okay, from getting, blowing up, okay, and then you think about your decision after the 14th, that might work well for you. So just be aware of this type of energy. I mean, it's really, um, you know, it's like tornado energy to me. I'm feeling that tornado where it could be very destructive. And the thing is, it's not going to be destructive. It will be destructive to the people around you, but it's going to hurt you. And I don't want that. So if you're aware of it, then you can then kind of like say, okay, I don't have to be a tornado chaser. I don't have to watch these. I don't have to be a storm chaser, okay? And that's what I'm going to say. Don't be a storm chaser. You, and, and know that if, this, if you find yourself in this type of energy, move away from it. Okay? Best advice I can give you. I really want to know, um, you know, Aries, what happens. So let me know Friday, Saturday, what happens if this is... If this hit for you or not, I hope that uh, I hope that if it does, that you you know that you were well prepared. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. I'm glad. I would rather you not. Okay, Aries. As always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye bye.